Hi guys, uh, today I will show you how you can store your pictures, files, uh, whether it's from your phone or your drones uh, to the network attached storage. In this case, we call it NAS. And uh, this model that I have here is an A-Sister Nimbuster 2. So uh, let's uh, walk through some of the what you can see here. And uh, here I have the SATA SSD uh, for my drive. And, uh, I also have another bigger drive. Uh, this is a 2 terabyte version, 3.5 inch SATA hard disk. And uh, you can actually go up to 36 terabyte on both of these slots if you want to. But uh, uh, I think if you even have, you have your old hard disk, it, it will just work. And uh, here you can uh, put it back together. So let's look what's behind here. So here you have the uh, USB 3.2 port, there's two pieces and also HDMI uh, 2.0, you can plug it into your TV. And uh, here you have the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port. You can uh, make it like a switch or a router if you want to. So I have the uh, Asus, to, this is the adapter, uh, you can maximize the speed to 2.5 gigabit by plugging into your computer. So here you have the fan, uh, which is very quiet, I could say. And at the front, you have the power button, and here you have the LED panel, and then you have this uh, one-touch uh, backup button, and you can program it to uh, just backup and delete the file right after. So let's look at some specs in the computer. Okay, so this is the uh, A-Sister website, uh, the official site for this uh, particular product, the Nimbuster 2. So you can see from here, there's uh, two GBE port which you can link and uh, do a, like port trunking to make it up to 5 gigabit this is just uh, very technical things and you can go up to 36 terabyte and you can also do 4k right out from the HDMI out and also you have uh, 2 gigs of RAM built in but you can upgrade it comes with a Intel Ceron processor and a 3 years warranty which is uh, very good for uh, this kind of device because you you have to turn it on for like 24 7 so they in fact they give you three years warranty is very good and uh, like you can see from here uh, there is uh, you can do a YouTube and Twitch uh, backup directly with your uh, NAS and also one thing good about this is it has this 10-bit uh, hardware deco decoding capability which uh, if you have some uh, better cameras and drones video that is uh, shot in 10 bit you can uh, output it directly from this uh, HDMI port which is uh, pretty rare among uh, all the uh, network attached storage at this price range and uh, you can look at here these are just some specs which uh, explains the, the uh, port trunking this one you can kind of double up the speed yeah still be good if you're editing video or you have plenty of people connecting to the same network you can share the bandwidth so so it will not be like uh, bottlenecking and here this is the a sister live so what it does is uh, you you can uh, stream uh, directly from your uh, maybe camera action cam or your obs uh, and you go first go through the nas and then uh, a backup is safe on your NAS before it is uh, uh, broadcasted in all the channel. So yeah, and also uh, you can see live streaming. Yeah, this this one is a uh, pretty uh, cool. You take easy. Uh, yeah, or maybe I'll do another video on that. And. Uh, Let's see what else. Overwhelming 4K HDR. Yeah, this is the 10-bit uh, thing I talk about. And uh, one thing is that this is pretty quiet. Even though if you keep it in your room, it is uh, very quiet, just like what I did. So no noticeable noise, uh, even with the hard disk running. And uh, because they have to, because you have to uh, have this thing turned on most of the time so saving power is also one thing so you only consume up to 17 volt under normal operation yeah and yeah 
this is also a good backup option because you can link your like if say you you have a Dropbox and Google Drive, you can link it directly uh, to your NAS, so that uh, what whatever is saved here will also uh, you have a copy here in the Google Drive, but it will take up some space on your hard drive. So this is one thing uh, if you want to have like a uh, how would say uh, you have an uh, uh, what to say this uh, office PC which has Google Drive or you just wanna share files with other people but you make it easy by just dropping it into your NAS and then it appear in Google Drive so yeah mm, what else over here snapshot this is just some backing up uh, kind of features portainers and uh, let's have a look at uh, this protected from inside out yeah they have some security built in and you can use this this the Asus portal is like the media home center uh, once you plug from the HDMI out to your TV or your monitor and uh, looks good is the uh, the media app mm, photo gallery yeah you have your own photo gallery and the app center is where you install most of the application so it's capable to install plenty of third-party apps on it so you can check that out and uh, one thing cool is that it also can be used like, like an NVR or, or you call it DVR so this is like a, a security camera a database so if you have like four IP camera you can just uh, let use this uh, NAS to uh, record oh, what's going on uh, you can do up to four uh, four cameras and then if you want to add more cameras you you need to buy the license so you can go up to 36 but uh, do note that if you uh, use this, this uh, camera feature it will take up some CPU space so it will slow down your system but uh, it's uh, minimum I suppose unless you are recording plenty of stuff plenty of camera but four camera should be good enough to handle and uh, one thing here the mobile apps is where you install this in your phone and uh, yeah you can try it out and also if you uh, just want to test out what's inside you can go to this website the live demo you can click on this and you can have a look at what's uh, how it is like uh, having this thing even though you're not connect you're not having it physically there but they let you access uh, the uh, database uh, the NAS that they have put as a demo so pretty cool okay so let's uh, move on so if you're wondering what is a NAS you can find out here so I'll not talk more about this and um, what's in the package you have the NAS itself power adapter some cables and that's all you actually don't really need a lot of screws because you can uh, just uh, install your hard disk without screw but only for the small drive you might need to have a couple of screw to uh, tighten it up so if you're using your NAS for uh, like a TV you can buy a controller but what I'll do is maybe upgrade the RAM and also just up uh, have this uh, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet adapter I shown you uh, to uh, kind of increase the speed if you're connecting it uh, by uh, LAN cable. And another thing is you can download all the uh, uh, apps that is required uh, during the first setup. So yeah, you can do this. And uh, okay, from here for photo photographers like us. Uh, uh, if you like to what you normally do is traditionally you store it in your external drive or even in your computer but uh, with this uh, NAS you can put everything um, directly to the uh, drive so I'll show you how to do that later on and uh, just makes things very easy yeah without having to uh, plug in the cables and this and that you can just do it transfer it over the phone through Wi-Fi 
So another thing is if you're editing video, uh, just like what I do uh, most of the time. So with this NAS, you can even have your files uh, safe on the NAS, like your video files and everything that you need to edit. And you can just access it right from your computer. So it will be helpful if you have plenty of stuff stored there, but you have a very limited storage uh, a computer, just like what I do. I have a Mac. MacBook, just uh, 250 gigs of RAM, uh, sorry, 250 gigs of uh, capacity and uh, I wouldn't have uh, sufficient uh, capacity if I would like to uh, keep on putting stuff here to edit so it would be good to have a separate drive which is what I'm using the NAS to do so actually if you're just a light user like me uh, 2.5 gigabits is uh, more than enough so unless you are having a team of people to do it you need like 10 gigs of speed but uh, 2.5 is good enough for most of us who are just doing YouTube so what's next is uh, if you have Apple so what you can do with this is uh, it can do a time machine backup so you can uh, backup your Mac directly so pretty handy so another thing to note is uh, this company is actually their parent company so the they make plenty of uh, computer stuff that you must have already heard of and uh, this is their siblings company the a sister which is why their name sounds pretty similar okay so I'll bring you to uh, the page where we set up the whole thing uh, through the computer so for the first time when you're setting this uh, NAS up you need to download the uh, software on your computer or even you can do it on your phone but um, in this case I'm using the Mac so I need to download the assistor control center here so this is the app so you can click on here the status to initialize it and uh, just click on the uh, uh, settings you like uh, in this case I'll just go by simple uh, here you need to key in your username so that you use this to log into your NAS every time and uh, you can also change the name of the server so that uh, you'll be easy to identify and uh, just create a password so later on you can also add in different users which uh, you give them different permission but uh, in this case you're setting up the administrator account so just wait for it to initialize and uh, we'll go to the next step so once the uh, initialization finish, uh, you can log into this link. Um, so this will be the default link uh, you can type into your browser so to access your NAS. So just by clicking next, you will see what's inside the uh, it's like web browser. Uh, you can uh, do some settings with it and check on the files. So in this case, I will just check on the files directory. So this is where most of your files will be safe and by clicking on the settings you can do some setup update uh, factory restore and uh, also you can do some backup directly um, this one will maybe cover next time so this is the one touch backup that I mentioned just uh, plug in your USB or your uh, SD card on the front slot of the NAS and click on this button and uh, just do some setup okay up next I'm gonna demonstrate to you how you can transfer your pictures uh, video files directly from your phone over the Wi-Fi uh, straight into the NAS so that you can edit uh, the footage or you can view it and store it in your NAS and can clear off the uh, memory on your phone okay so the first thing first you might need to download this application into your phone in which case I'll use the AI data app so the first time when you log in, you might have to search, uh, do a refresh so that you're on the same network, um, connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your NAS, and your this uh, app would directly direct, uh, detect the uh, NAS that is in your system. So by clicking on it, you have the IP address and key in your account and password, and then you can log in. So once inside, these are the folders, the directory. So in which case now, um, probably I'll just show you how I would like to um, upload a file to my server. So I would just click on this. This is if I'm doing a single file sharing directly to the NAS. 
so let me click on um, this one nest ai data i think i have here yeah ai data so i'll just click on video and i'll save the file here so what you do i'll just click on upload so once this is done and uh you have the files here so you can always find your file in here you see it's already in the uh, directory and i can run it play it directly from see? so it works so uh, you could also edit your video footage save on the NAS directly from the computer in the same network just head to your network and log into a sister directory you could also map the directory or create a shortcut so you can access the NAS uh, easily so what you do just drop the files on your editing software timeline and there you go you can uh, start editing your video so here you have uh, an ASISTER NAS that save you time, simplify your storage workflow, especially when you are creating a lot of personal data every day. This is a piece of technology that uh, you should not avoid and worth the time to learn to incorporate into your life. So you can check out more links in my description and uh, there's plenty of video out there to get you started with your first NAS. I hope you learned something today and I'll see you in the next video.